Alright, so here we are with some burger going on. And I'm not sure whether the lettuce is going to make it or not. I'm going to go ahead and take the hamburger, drop it down a little bit, and then that way I don't have to. Oh, I'm going to need to do it anyway. Let's, let's go ahead, bring it down below the cheese. Nope, it's not going to make it. I'm going to have to do some cleanup. So let's just get it back to where it was. And let's see. <laughs> Levitating burger. Okay. So we'll just leave it like that. And let's get on the cheese layer. And do this. And let's just do a little fill there, and there, and select these guys, control X, control B, and let's go ahead and make them the darker color. it out there okay okay nope it won't work that way okay all right so and I do like the lettuce But it's not going to make any sense. The cheese is not going to connect to the lettuce. So let's see. Let me just turn it off for now. And let's go ahead and lock the other layers. So it's just the cheese. And actually, I just want the strands. So let's go there and there. Get on that layer. And let's do some selecting. And I'm only selecting the wide spot. So then I can just stretch it up. And go there and then the pickle layer is actually going to have to move above okay and then we'll go ahead let's do it like this shift control three control three control alt three and <clears throat> Go ahead and one in our scale, but let's pick a point down here and stretch it like this. And let's go back down. And Actually going to go to object envelope warp arch vertical preview and that's way too crazy I just want a little bit a little bit more a little bit more Uh-huh. Let's 
see how that looks. Okay. And maybe a little rotation wouldn't hurt. Uh -huh. I'm going to pick right here and give it a little rotation. This one and stretch it here. Up. Oh, it didn't grab everything. Why not? Let's go. There we go. Nope. Select. Should be grabbing everything. There we go. And let's do this. That's going to be way too big. Straight up. And then we can do a little slant. There we go. And then this one, I want to go ahead and release it. Release. Oh, not release. I want expand. There we go. And now I want to let go and just leave that and do a little erase here. Oh, we got a little something there. Okay, so that, uh, this goop can go, and let's go ahead and select this again, and I want to scale it, okay, another one here. Scale that to shift. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now this is a bit thick in here. All these are. So I might just redraw them. So they should be about this thick. <coughs> and now that I have my brush set up right. I can do thicks and thins a little better. It'll look a little more believable. Alright. So let's do that, shall we? Let's just delete one. And actually, <laughs> I might leave that just like that. Let's get rid of this one now. And let's get in here. Get this on the blob brush. And let's go ahead. Now I'm getting some thicks and thins here. underneath the lighting I will do that let's get rid of let's ungroup uh, control shift G is that right oh let go thank you and undo 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 thank you let's try this like these two and delete. Alright, so we need 
dark on this side. And let's see what happens with this. Yeah, I hate when it does that. And then it doesn't let you do it. So we have to deselect, get that. And let's see, the lighting isn't going to start until here. Go for it again. Oh, wrong side. And now I need the light one again. Which one is this anyway? Uh, nope, can't do it that way. Delete. All right. Again, that's there. I'm going to bring this down. Okay. And delete again. Control X. I'm going to put it in front of the cheese. Let's just unlock those. Front, okay, release, and this color, but I can't select it until after I delete, and then go to the brush, blob brush, and let's do this again, control X, paste in front, nope. Go to the top with the bubbles, paste in front. Still not doing it. Control X. Bubbles, paste in front. Thank you. Alright. So let's get. Deselect. I'll select. Deselect. And go in there. I need to set up a hotkey for that. Let's see here. Oh, and I knew that was going to happen as soon as I unlocked it. Um, so, let's go to strands. Lock these back up. I'm going to draw it again. Like that. Control X. Now unlock. Let's go to the bubble layer and paste in front. Okay. And then I'm on the bubble layer, so I should be okay with the lighter color. So let's go here. Let's see, now I went down to the strands layer, which I actually want to go back up to bubble. So, let's see here, okay, and, oh, I don't want that, I do, so I'm going to come down maybe about here and start my light, there we go, and it went back to the other layer, right, undo, Control Y, up a little closer, can't see it, should be this guy, Control X, go to bubble layer, paste in front, and Control Y, there we go, and this one, I think I'm just going to redraw these, Because I don't think there's going to be, it's too far underneath for a light source. So I'm just going to do it like this. And like this. Up. OK. 
And get rid of you. And you. And you. And actually, it's going to be easier just to draw these guys. Oh, goodbye. Alright, so let's see. Uh huh. So let's do this. And it connected after a while. It's the one tricky thing with the blob brush. And let's get back out. And let's just make our lives a little bit easier. Let's just do a quick other layer. And let me do this. Mm -hmm. And like this. And like that. And let's do. Oh, I didn't close them off. So. Back to here again. Oh, man. such a pain. Okay, there. And let's go ahead and. And this is one of the reasons why I prefer using the line tool because it's just so fussy. Uh, the blob brush. All right, so let's go ahead and select these guys. Object compound path release. I'm just going to select this and make it the darker color, but I still haven't figured out. Okay, it's this one here. Okay, so uh huh. Can I do you remember it? Let's see. Yep, it's just one one in. Okay, let's try this again. One in. Okay. All right, and this guy can go away. And I want this and this and this. There we go, and did it. Nope, see it didn't click because I'm on a separate layer. No, I'm on the strand layer. Oh, huh. And that's why I like lines. They're not connected afterwards, but I'll just do a quick and expand it. Oh, not rasterize. Cancel, object, expand appearance. Now they're shapes. And let's see, did I do it here too? Nope, those are shapes and those are shapes. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's what it's going to look without the lettuce. Let's go backwards. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it like that. Maybe I'll put like some puddles here. So it doesn't look like it's just strings.
but that's okay. We got our layers here. I'm gonna go on to the next one. And this one, I'm actually going to select this. Shift, select, oh, I just want one. So I want uh, control. So I've got the two selected. Now let's see if I have to rename it. Now let's go ahead and, where are you? Merge selected. Yep, and that's what it always does. Whatever one I don't want it to have the name of, that's when it does that. So T strands. Okay. And I think that's going to be it for that one. Okay. So hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. All that we want to make it your way I don't know something like that hold the pickles hold the lettuce special orders don't upset us okay okay so Pickles. Cheese. Strands and bubbles. And just strands. And then we got the burger. Hold the burger. And then we got lettuce. Do I want it or not? I guess I'm going to do something else with it. I mean, I like it. I think it's a nice feature, but the cheese would not connect to the top portion. The cheese is never going to stick to cold lettuce. It's not going to happen. All right. Who knows? All right. So let's see. Then we got the lettuce. We got the bun. All right. So we're getting there. Lettuce gone. With or without lettuce? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Alright, so for right now, we've got that. So the next step is turn back on our original layer and get to the next burger. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, so let's get in here. And I'm going to turn everything else off. Oh, goodbye, burger. All right, so everything's off. Uh, lettuce. Make sure everything's off. Oh, still got the bun on. Okay, bun. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and put on the other burger. So we'll add another layer here. And that's the bottom burger. The burger. Uh -huh. Alright. And I don't want yellow lines. So I'm going to quick double click on this. And we'll go with orange. Okay. And let's see so I went ahead and redrew this part of the burger I still need to this one's a little thicker than this one so I want to make sure I draw that in a little thicker so I'm going to go ahead and use the oh the pen tool again so let's go ahead and start here and then top of this and then the bottom of this top of this and then we're gonna do slightly rounded let's go ahead and click off that and I'm gonna go ahead and round it out and let's go ahead and make it like this and we're gonna 
make sure that it's about the same. No. Let's just draw it the way I have it. And then figure it out. going to do that. I'm going to get a no fill black stroke. And beef it up. I should have kept track of how big that other one was before I outlined it, but that's alright. We can always eyeball it. And we used our special brush for that. I don't remember how big we made it. Let's beef it up a little. So we might have turned on the other burger just to take a look. And now that I have it already in shapes, right? Right? Right. It's locked. I don't know. I'm pretty sure though. Let's find out how wide it is. Control Y. And just take a circle and use the top point and the bottom point. And it looks like it's seven points. Okay. Delete. Control Y. Control zero. Alright, so we're gonna leave that. And but I think I want to do the same thing I did up here, which is it goes all the way around and up to here before it does that line. So I can just click on here and continue. And Bring it up over the top. Now this one, select this and fudge. And now let's see here. Actually, I think this needs to go a little bit down. A little okay. I'm gonna call that good. Alright, let's see. I'm go ahead and do it like this. Just know where the line is. I think it'll be entirely covered. So let's go ahead and bring this in and connect it. Okay, so really a mess over here. Let's round some things out. Okay, and let's bring this over here. And again, we want to put something here. Good. And then I want this to come around and up to here and if I hold down the shift okay now that's a little thin in there but let's see about this still want it up around seven Let's bring it down a little. Let's go five. Okay. And this guy here. First off, let's dip this a little. And bring this in a little. Good enough. Um, let's put a point right here for a reason. It's the lowest, lowest mo most point. And the way you can tell is it always flattens out. Let's see where it does that right there. That's where it goes from up, from down to back up again. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point there. Oh, didn't let me, did it? just a point. Okay, delete that. And we'll go ahead and select this. 
And we're going to come over here and put the point in. And if you remove this one, then it's going to make it go wonky. So, although I don't like extra points, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the width, line width tool, grab this, and actually extend it some. So that that far point, control Y, control Y, control zero. So that this line right here is a little bit thicker. And I might actually have to come up to like here, put another point in and let it thicken up a little. And this is a little thick here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point here. Oh, didn't do it. Get back in here. And let's see about moving this down a little bit. I don't want this tangent. Alright, we'll leave it just a little space. And let's go back and take a look. I like it. Uh, this is going to be okay this thin. Let's go ahead and play with it and see what we got. Thank you. Alright, so we got this. I'm going to go ahead and add another point. Now you don't have to add a point because you can actually do it with this tool. See, it will do it for you. Um, but see this is what I don't know about this tool there we go that's better it like doesn't want to do things sometimes okay. and let's go ahead and make this one smaller too <coughs> just so we don't have this now the trick is we've got which one on top. So we we'll just go control X, control B, and that should put this guy on top. And we'll select this. And we're gonna bring it down until they match. There we go. And there we go. Now this back line should actually be smaller. This should be thicker. So I'm actually going to do that while I'm here. Should have done it up here too. But eh, it's got the cheese over it. So and this is going to have the same thing. I'll leave it. If I want to take the cheese off, that'll be a problem, but let me just, I'm here, what the heck. So, let's get in here, and I'm going to go ahead and thin it down, I don't know, half. And call it, okay. So now when we have the cheese in there, though, it's not going to make any difference, just like this one doesn't matter. So, we'll just leave it as is. And I'm going to go ahead and do the expand. Uh, huh, uh, huh. Expand appearance. And I'm going to go ahead and unite. And we got a burger. And do an object compound release. So that's there. But it's still grouped, I believe. Nope. Cool. All right. So this will be the brown part. There it is, another burger. All right, so we got bottom burger, and we got top burger. So right now I'm just going to lock it and create another layer, and we're gonna go ahead and get the bun done. And 
Go from there. So we got B bun. And let's get the pen tool out again. And where are you, B bun? Thank you. Alright, so let's start from the topmost. I mean this is the bottom most, but we need another point in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then from the top point. I'm sorry, from the farthest left point, we'll do that. And again, we're gonna do something in the middle here, up to the top, and then over here. And I'm pulling it, I didn't need to, but I'll just grab the point, bring it back in, and come on. I want you to be able to connect. Okay. All right, try it again, and bring this down. Smooth it out a little, and I'm actually going to break the corner, which I normally don't do, but it's going to work here. All right, so we got that. Next, we're going to go ahead and make the bottom bun. All right, pen tool again, and whoop, we want to be on the line if we can. Just going to save us some cleanup. Go. Go ahead and move it to here. And bring this down a little bit. And up to here. And up to here. And round it off a little. There we go. And we got our two shapes, right? Let go, let go. There we go, thank you. Oh, nope, didn't group, good. All right, so let's grab these guys and let's grab the shape builder and let's go ahead and do those. And we wanna use a light color how could that have been the pickle colors? Okay, so let's see. I want the bread, which is here. And I'm going to use that one. I'll figure it out when I pull it back up again. All right. Why isn't it changing colors? Oh, I don't have it selected. Still had the shape builder tool on. Let's go there. And there. It's not right, but that's okay. We'll pull the other bun up. There, I need the bun. There we go. So I want this color. Oh, it won't let me. I need the picker. And we'll just do this because I'm lazy. There, now we've got the other bun in there. Okay, so we got all our layers except for you know if I'm gonna do like tomatoes in the middle here onion that was all on this layer but let's go ahead and show all all right let's take a look all right that's zero let's get a little smaller okay Hmm. These are a bit twitchy here. I kind of like it more rounded, so I might have to clean that up a little bit. I want it to be more fluid than jaggedy. So I might end up redoing that. Or just smoothing out the lines or tweaking it. And as far as the lettuce goes, I think it's going to be a little a little open if I don't do it that way. I mean, I could always move the bun back down again, take up that space. 
I don't know. We'll see. How are we doing? That. Okay. So, do we have time to do some more cheese? See, I'm gonna go ahead and f save that as a separate file. Save as. Let's make it a three. And return and okay. All right. So this doesn't look right in here either. That's gonna have to fix. I don't have the right color for this. Actually, they should change. This should be the darker of the two. It's locked still. Let's just do this. Picker. Grab it. Move it to here. Alright. Okay, we pretty much have our layers though. Just like a, maybe a tomato layer here. And oh, I'm another cheese layer of course. So yeah, we'll have the strand layer for the cheese just like we did with this one. Strand, and then the cheese on top, dripping, and then uh, go from there. Then we'll have to like put texture on all these parts here. Bread texture, I got the sesame seeds, that'll be another layer. So, I mean it's getting there, but there's a lot more than and I think there is. There always is. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, we're going to go ahead and call that for right now. I uh, should be back on to do some more real soon. And we'll go ahead and build a burger. Yeah. Thanks for checking it out, and have a good one. Bye-bye.